Hello, and welcome to another AV tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to use the Air Media feature in a basic classroom. Air Media allows you to wirelessly present content from your laptop or tablet and freely move around the classroom without being tethered to the podium. Air Media is compatible with both Windows and Mac devices. Tap the screen of the touch panel to begin, then select the Air Media source. I will first go over how to use Air Media for Windows users. If you have a Mac, feel free to skip ahead to the Mac specific instructions. When you select this source, you'll see the following displayed on the projector screen. You'll see an IP address in the top left corner of the screen. Open your desired web browser on your laptop or tablet and type the number into the address bar. Then click Windows for the download to begin. In Internet Explorer, a yellow box will show on the bottom of the screen asking you to save or run the download. Click Run. After a few seconds, the application will open. In Firefox, a pop-up will prompt you to save the download. Click Save File, then open your recent downloads. Click the Air Media file and wait a few seconds for the program to open. In Google Chrome, once you click the download for Windows, the file will appear on the bottom left of your screen. Once the download is complete, click to open it and wait a few seconds for the program to launch. Once the application opens, a pop-up will appear asking for a code. This is the four-digit number located in the top right corner of the Air Media screen. Please note that this number is changed every time you disconnect from Air Media. If you use Air Media regularly, you can right-click on the Air Media icon and save it to your taskbar for ease of access next time you want to use it. When you open the application again, click Connections, then Connect. A pop-up will ask you to enter the IP address of the room, which is the number in the top left corner of the screen, as well as the four-digit code. Now I am going to go over how to connect to Air Media using a Mac laptop. You'll see an IP address in the top left corner of the Air Media screen. Open your desired web browser on your laptop or tablet and type the number into the address bar. Click Mac for the download to begin. In Safari, click the Downloads button in the top right corner and double click on the Air Media file. In Firefox, a pop-up will prompt you to save the download. Click Save File, then open your recent downloads. Double click the Air Media file and wait a few seconds for the program to open. In Google Chrome, once you click the download for Mac, the file will appear in the bottom left corner of your screen. Once the download is complete, double click it to open and wait a few seconds for the program to launch. A window will open with the Crestron Air Media app. Double click to open it. You may get a pop-up asking if you are sure you want to open this application. Macs automatically do this for applications not downloaded from the App Store. Since this is a trusted file, click Open or Open Anyway. In your dock, you will notice the Air Media icon. Click on the app. A notification box will appear saying, To enable non-AirPlay audio, please install Crestron Audio Driver from the full app installer. Click OK. For Macs, Air Media connects to the projector by going through AirPlay on your computer. In the top taskbar, click the AirPlay icon. In the drop-down menu, you should see the IP address associated with the room. Click this and enter the four-digit code located in the top right corner of the Air Media screen. Then click OK to connect. Please note that this code changes every time you disconnect from Air Media. If you use Air Media regularly, you can right-click on the Air Media icon to save it to your dock for ease of access. When you are ready to use it, type the IP address of the room which is the number in the top left corner of the Air Media screen, into the search bar, and follow the AirPlay guidance to connect and enter the four digit code. Thanks for watching! Be sure to check out more AV tutorials on our channel.